So, you know, it was, it, it was uh, uh, eternal, uh, it was spoken, it was written, it was copied, we, they tr the, God translated it for us. And the last point is, is he preserved it for us. And we'll just jump to a couple of verses quickly there. God made sure of it that his word would be preserved so that we would have it in our hand today. Uh, verse 6 and 7 of Psalm 12, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, them being the words of God. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. So we can see there that God has promised that he will keep them. It's not up to us to preserve the word of God and to make sure of it. I mean, we can take part in that and be used of God, but God ultimately is the one who is going to preserve his word and make sure that it is with us today. Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And did you know that this phrase is in Matthew, Mark and Luke and written the exact same way? You know, it's uh, Mark 13, 31, Luke 21, 33, exact same, heaven and earth shall pass away. I think the only difference is, I think it's a semicolon after the away. But my words shall not pass away. Uh, Isaiah 59, this is God saying to Isaiah, as for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. So this is a promise from God. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth, so again the speaking of God's word, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed, saith the Lord. From henceforth, so from this time it's given to you, and forever. So you see there that we will always have God's word with us, we'll always have Isaiah's words, and we'll always have I believe we can extend that to every word of God that is pure, that's preserved for us. So, you know, the Bible, when, when they say, you know, it is written, they say it is written, meaning it had to be written at the point that they said that. The Bible doesn't use the words, it was written, as though it existed at some point in time in the past. It says it is written, you know, in Timothy 3.15, 1 Timothy 3.15, we see all scripture is given by inspiration uh, by God and is profitable present tense it's not that it was profitable when the people who had it had it it's profitable now because we still have it and even jesus when he walked this earth said it is written when he was talking to satan because it was written at his time it was there at his time as well so it's something that we have today 